Hello guys, welcome to my another video and like every video, even today, I will share the best 40 questions with you guys. And out of this topic, you will get minimum one or two questions in the exam. Yes, don't skip the video and please watch till the last. Here is our topic. Arthropoda. Arthropoda is the largest phylum in the world with about 9 lakh species. They are maybe aquatic, maybe terrestrial or even parasitic. They have jointed appendages with chitinous exoskeleton. The phylum includes several large classes and contains the class Insecta which itself represents a major portion of the animal species in the world. They possess the ability to survive in every habitat. The body of the arthropoda is mainly triploblastic, segmented and bilaterally symmetrical. They exhibit organ level of organization. Why? Because they are higher organisms and the higher organisms always exhibit organ level of organization. That's why arthropods have organ level of organization. The body is divided into three parts, head, thorax and abdomen. Their body has jointed appendages which help in their locomotion. The coelomic cavity is filled with fully blood. They have an open circulatory system. The head bears a pair of compound eyes. The exoskeleton is made up of chitin and the terrestrial arthropods excrete through malpighian tubules while the aquatic arthropods excrete through greenlands or coaxial glands. What are malpighian tubules, greenlands or coaxial glands? These are the excretory organs. If the arthropods are terrestrial, then their excretory organ is malpighian tubule and the arthropods which are aquatic their excretory organ is greenland or coaxial gland they are unisexual organisms and their fertilization is either external type or maybe internal type they have a well developed digestive system they respire through the general body surface or by trachea they contain sensory organs like hairs antenna simple and compound eyes auditory organs and statocysts here we see simple and compound eyes what are simple and compound eyes? These are the two types of eyes which are present in arthropods. Arthropods possess various kinds of sensory structures of which photoreceptors are morely sensitive to light. The photoreception in arthropods is mediated by both simple and compound eyes. Some insects possess both types of eyes are considered to be the most successful animals on the earth. So simple eyes are otherwisely known as uceli and the word uceli is derived from the light Latin word ucellus, which means little eye. Ucelli are simple eyes which are comprised of a single lens for collecting and focusing the light. And this ucelli is of two types. One is dorsal ucelli and another is lateral ucelli. So what is dorsal ucelli? These dorsal ocelli are found on the dorsal or frontal surface of the head of the nymphs and adults of several hemimetabolous insects like mayflies and dragonflies. What is nymphs? The larval forms of arthropoda are known as nymphs. And what is about lateral ocelli? Lateral ocelli is otherwisely known as stemata. These are the only eyes in the larvae of the holometabolous organisms and certain adult insects such as springtails or silverfish. These are all about simple eyes. And what about the compound eyes in arthropoda? A number of arthropods possess eyes which are made up of thousands of long cylindrical photoreceptor units. Such eyes are termed as compound eyes and the each unit is called as omatidium. And what is omatidium? Basically, omatidium is a bundle of cells of several microns. The different elements of the omatidia are cornea, crystalline cone, photoreceptor unit and pigment cells. These are the four constituents by which omatidium is formed for compound eyes. As they have such a big classification, so it is very necessary to know about them, right? So let's see about their classifications. Usually the broad phylum arthropoda contains six subphylums. Crustacea, Mariapoda, Hexapoda, Chelicerata, Trilobitomorpha and Onychophora. Then Crustacea contains six classes. Branchiopoda, Remipedia, Cephalocardia, Maxillopoda, Ostracoda and Malacostracea. Mariapoda contains four classes. Chylopoda, Diplopoda, Pauropoda and Symphyla. Hexopoda contains only two classes, Insecta and Entognatha. Chelicerata contains three classes, Arachnida, Merostomata and Pycnogonidia. 
Trilobitomorpha contains only one class that is trilobita which is very easy to remember and Onychophora has no class. This is all about general characteristics and the classification of arthropoda and let's move about the main part of our video that is MCQs and the first question is here. Arthropod exoskeleton is softened, flexible, hardened and inflexible, softened and flexible and the answer is C hardened and inflexible and why arthropod exoskeleton is hardened and inflexible because their exoskeleton is made up of chitin material which is a very hard material i have also said in general characteristics of arthropod that is the exoskeleton is made up of chitin material and that's why their exoskeleton is hardened and inflexible next arthropod exoskeleton is made up of chitin only chitin and protein protein and collagen collagen and chitin and the answer is b chitin and protein a uniquely elastic protein dash is capable of recovery of its shape after deformation collagen resin chitin elastin and the answer is b resin crustacea have cuticle hardened by potassium salts collagen calcium salts and magnesium salts and the answer is c calcium salts the midgut of arthropod receive secretions from digestive tract reproductive tract pituitary gland and all and the answer is a digestive tract omatidia are dash in numbers in insects i have also said in their compound eyes thousand in numbers two thousand in numbers three thousand in numbers or four thousand numbers and the answer is a thousand in numbers Dash species of Onychophorans are known 90, 100, 110 or unknown and the answer is C. Only 110 species of Onychophorans are known. The exoskeleton of arthropod are modified into sensilla in the form of hair only, hair and pit only, hair pit and bristles and bristles only and the answer is C. Hair pit and bristles. Next. The dorsal lobe of the brain of arthropod receives sensory axon from hands, eyes, ear and nose. And the answer is B. Eyes. The dash in arthropod is lined with permeable cuticle, foregut, midgut, hindgut and non. And the answer is B. That is midgut. In dash, there is no separate digestive gland. Insects, mammals, birds and fishes. And the answer is A. Insects. Brain of arthropod initiate neurosecretion of hormone from a structure near brain or heart or mouth or stomach and the answer is A. Brain. Move to the next question. In arthropod the need to molt during growth provide an opportunity for dash, parthenogenesis, metamorphosis, both parthenogenesis and metamorphosis and none of the above and the answer is B that is metamorphosis. Dash are crucial for survival of most of the arthropods, epicuticular lipids, epicuticular proteins, epicuticular carbs or none of the above and the answer is A. Epicuticular lipids. Exoskeleton of arthropod is made up of wax and chitin, chitin and soft protein, chitin and tanned protein, protein and wax and the answer is C. Chitin and tanned protein. In arthropods, there is complete circulatory system, respiratory system, digestive system or reproductive structures and the answer is C. Digestive system is complete in arthropods. Next, the periplaneta belongs to which of these phyla? Echinodermata, Annelida, Mollusca or Arthropoda and the answer is Arthropoda. Labrum in cockroach is attached to the head capsule through the means of Clypeusa, genus, fronds or all of the above and the answer is A. Clypeusa. The characteristic of pronounced cephalization is seen in Arthropoda, Mollusca, Annelida and Echinodermata and the answer is A. Arthropoda. This is the basic unit in the eye of insect or cockroach, corneal facet, omatidium, rhabdom or retina and the answer is B. Omatidium. Next question. This is the common factor between housefly, anopheles and cockroach. Three pair of legs, two pair of wings, cuticle covering the body, presence of cephalothorax. And the answer is A. Three pair of legs are the common factor between housefly, anopheles and cockroach. Pick the common trait in rats, bedbugs, mosquitoes and leeches. All these have a sexual phase. All these have no cellular membrane, all these do not have a nucleus or all these have an anticoagulatin. And the answer is A. 
all these have a sexual phase the growth in arthropods goes along with this process mitosis only molting only ecdysis and ecdysis and molting and the answer is d both ecdysis and molting to view the hemocele you would pick this animal sponge earthworm scolopendra or hydra and the answer is c scolopendra next question in cockroach the spiracles are found in thorax two pairs abdomen four pairs thorax two pairs abdomen six pairs thorax two pairs abdomen eight pairs thorax two pairs and abdomen 10 pairs and the answer is c thorax two pairs abdomen eight pairs metamorphically segmented bilaterally symmetrical animals bearing jointed appendages these are the characteristic of helminthes annelida mollusca or arthropoda and the answer is d arthropoda clear cephalization is a characteristic of echinoderm annelida mollusca or arthropoda and the answer is d clear cephalization is a characteristic of arthropoda hemocelic body cavity is a characteristic of ascaris leech cockroach or snails and the answer is c cockroach next question division of the body into head and tail head thorax and abdomen thorax and abdomen or no segmentation we have already discussed about it in the general characteristics of arthropods that is the division of their body into three parts head thorax and abdomen and the answer is b most primitive arthropods belongs to archinida insecta onychophora and myriapoda and the answer is c onychophora book lungs are the respiratory organ of insects crustaceans arachnids or peripatus and the answer is c arachnids the organs of taste in cockroach are present in epipharynx only hypopharynx pharynx or palps and epipharynx and the answer is d both palps and epipharynx next question the distal part of the malpighian tubule of cockroach open into hemolymph open into ciliary cavity float freely in hemolymph are attached to the alimentary canal and the answer is c float freely in hemolymph the nitrogenous waste in cockroach is mainly excreted as urea uric acid ammonia or uric acid and urea and the answer is b only uric acid a common feature in earthworm and cockroach is nephridia omatidia cocoon formation or ventral nerve cord and the answer is d ventral nerve cord is the common feature in earthworm and cockroach this question is very interesting how to distinguish the male and female cockroaches by their size by their wings by their anal styles or by their body color and the answer is c they are anal styles by their anal styles we can distinguish the male and female cockroaches and the next question true and complete metamorphosis is found in silver fish grasshopper cockroach or moth and mosquito and the answer is d both moth and mosquito the communication in bees by special body movements or by dances was discovered by t h morgan carl von frisch robert koch or by pavlov and the answer is b carl von frisch what is the dances when bees are found food in some place they indicate their other family members to come and collect the food and dance is the only way to indicate the other ways that dance is maybe waggle dance or maybe round dance what is waggle dance when bees started dancing they form numerical eight like structure and is known as waggle dance and this is really very interesting so move to the next question a photosensitive part of insect crystalline cones pigment cells rhabdom or sensory neuron and the answer is c rhabdom last question the mouth parts of house fly are piercing and sucking type biting and chewing type sucking and sponging type or biting sucking and lapping type and the answer is c sucking and sponging type thank you so much for watching this video please 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 like comment share and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon Keep supporting me